Welcome to the Mark's Lionel Train's final renovation. It is awesome. Finally getting trains running again, it is fantastic. We'll talk about the renovation in a few minutes. We'll show you a few of the things going on there. I got the uh, railroad crossing finally going, and that is awesome. We have the uh, dwarf signal set up in the tunnel, and that is working awesome as well. Bruce is leaving the uh, tunnel, so we'll go on the uh, other side and we'll take a peek on the other side of the layout. All right, there's the uh, renovated area there. I have the uh, addition right there. It's a 4x4 four four, and uh, I have 060 blended into the uh, 036, which was a really nice addition and I'm really pleased to have gotten that done. And you can see I uh, have the trailers uh, all installed. Uh, I do have a couple of the uh, lighted trucks installed here. Uh, I have the uh, Piggly Wiggly installed. It's awesome too. Uh, let me give you a close-up of this other shot. There is the Smith Brothers Television Studio. Uh, hopefully you can see the TVs blinking in there. And then uh, we'll uh, spin around over here to this area here. And we have the uh, Valley Motors area. I don't know how this video is going to turn out because I can't see it. So uh, we'll stop there. I'm really pleased to get the uh, railroad crossing gates installed. Uh, they are awesome. I've had these for 20 years and it's really nice to see them on the layout. That's for sure. I have uh, 12 of my uh, UTLX tank cars out running around the layout. And the, uh, you can't see the Piggly Wiggly uh, sign with the lights on. But yeah, the, uh, the, pig, the Piggly Wiggly on the uh, actual building looks good. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, I think we'll stop the train here and uh, probably talk about it for a second. There's the entire cleaned layout as best as I can. cycle off before I uh, was at the, uh, you didn't get to see this so and turn off all the lights so you can see the entire nighttime view of the layout all, all the lights are on Alright, we got that all done. We turn the lights on again and uh, all the locomotives are shut down. I did want to talk a little bit about my control system. I've had some people ask about it, uh, why I don't have uh, uh, power blocks, I guess is what it is. Um, the layout kind of evolved and I never set up any power blocks, so it's, it is what it is. I have the, the Legacy Cab 2. I have my ZW here. Uh, this uh, controls the uh, lights and it's controlled by the uh, 235 watt 
uh, power uh, bricks here. So I'm going to turn them off and turn the lights off. And then you see all the main lights go off on the railroad. Um, this ZW handle uh, handles the, uh, the coal loader. This ZW handle, uh, what is that handle now? The house over there because I have the Christmas decorations on that. And uh, I have a 180 watt power brick for the track. We're gonna turn that off right now. And then I have the, the left of the Menards buildings are handled by a plug down here. And the right of the Menards buildings are handled by a plug down here as well. Um, I've also hooked up a couple switches here. Uh, these two power switches here that we, these turn the track off uh, over there uh, in that corner is this switch right here and that will allow me to stack up locomotives and run conventionally I can turn the power off on a track and that that works pretty well too so all right uh, enough of power this has been my absolute longest renovation because it's it's actually finished I, I did the other two renovations in two weeks but I didn't finish them entirely and but uh, this one is completely finished and uh, and it really did turn out good with the streets and everything. Um, it it uh, I'm really pleased. I feel I used a uh, uh, the usual street method that I do to uh, create the streets. Uh, I did create a fueling area there. I moved the uh, water tower over to this area here. Created a campground over here. So moved the campers down here to this area to lay out. And I changed all the people in the train station and changed the, the mountain area around a lot and had some pine trees and things over there. And I have uh, the uh, uh, SW7 over there on the siding. Uh, he's got a uh, siding of cars to go behind the, uh, the Valley Motors that I hooked up over there too. The uh, Do Nothing construction guys are over there. I have a uh, a scene over here of the uh, police pulling over a car there and uh, the folks are, are looking on uh, as, uh, as they're uh, wondering what's going on there, that's for sure. Taco Bell, everything's all dusted. The layout really did turn out good, all dusted and everything. Uh, the gas station and the produce stand. Uh, I have the, uh, the checker guys, uh, back, uh, they're always been there and, uh, worked on a little bit of, that's a little dark over there. I should, uh, get the lights on and stuff, but just a general overview of, of the, uh, of all the, uh, improvements done to the layout. I call it the final renovation because I'm really kind of out of room here. I don't really have any more room to go unless I want to move furniture and, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, but... Anyway, uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, update of the layout, and uh, hopefully uh, I covered everything. I, I did have uh, 036 or 031 in the tunnel, and now I have that out, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there, and hey, we'll see how the, the channel evolves from here. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and... Uh, I'm hoping to get a track view uh, coming up, and we're going to get down on the track and take a look at the scenery right down and dirty, that's for sure. Thanks for watching Mark's Lionel Trains. <laughs>